How's it going everybody out there in UTB land? It's Dave from utbblogs.com and today I'm on the case about a case. So just in case you're in the need for a case for your DTEK 60, you've come to the right place. Anyway, a little bit of background. Um, for the longest time, I have uh, been, well, I started out using, um, uh, you know, belt clips. <clears throat> and those worked, uh, seemed to be fine. And after a while, I sort of, I don't know, would you call it graduated? I don't think so. Just changed, changed it up and started using the, the flip style uh, cases <clears throat> that came, uh, came out for various devices. As an example, I, I got the flip case for the Z30. Always loved that. Um, and uh, I got a Stilgut, uh flip case for my passport. Hey, where's the passport? Guess what? That's what's filming this. Um, this has been a really nice case too. Excellent choice. Um, and then, of course, for the Priv, uh, another Blackberry uh, leather flip. Um, this is an excellent case as well. Um, but with the DTEK 60, I decided to try something a little different. When I first got it, <clears throat> they were offering uh, the package deal with the uh, quick charger and also uh, uh, this little guy, which is um, just a, a, a little slip on cover. But the thing that bugged me about this, although it did its job. Uh, for the time frame, uh, the thing about it is that it doesn't cover the somewhat significant camera bump that um, that's on the DTEK 60. I don't know if you can see that all that well, but it is a bit of a camera bump. And so I, I really didn't like just laying the DTEK 60 on the table and um, and still having the camera uh, sitting on the table instead of being covered. So, um, decided that getting something slightly more um, robust uh, was in the cards. And so, um, it, it looked to me like the Incipio was the thing to do. And so, uh, why don't we just take a quick look inside the box here. I'll get this other stuff out of the way. Uh, as you can see, uh, Incipio is the manufacturer. Case is called a uh, dual layer, or, or sorry, dual pro. Um, and uh, the reason they say that is because it has dual layer protection. It's a two piece thing. We'll see about that. And they also rate it for uh, a 12 foot drop. So you'd have to be twice as tall as me <laughs> to drop it and see if it works. But I'm not going to try that. Um, on the back, they just show you, uh, you know, what, what the layers are about. Um, it's got a rigid outer shell and then a soft touch um, finish for the internal layer. Um, but anyway, that's nice. Let's open it and see what we got here. Um, pretty simple. Packaging is very simple. It comes assembled the two pieces are already uh, put together and uh, this little card in here company card explains a little bit about uh, uh, the company and whatnot thank you for buying it and stuff oh look hey Incipio even knows where where we are way to go Anyway, uh, like I say, it comes in two pieces already, so we'll just um, take those apart. Like that's easy to do, Dave. Uh, here is the soft, rather malleable, pliable inner core. Uh, very soft, has a really nice feel to it. You can see the Incipio raised um, logo here. Interesting touch. And then there's the uh, opening for the camera, the flash, and the fingerprint sensor. 
another thing that this has going for it, as you can see, on the back of the uh, uh, cover that was shipped with the deal, there are no ports for the speakers on the back, which I thought was a bummer. But as you can see here, the uh, speaker ports are open and that just makes your audio experience much better. Um, on the left hand side you can see there's a uh, very uh, you know pliable uh, rubber cover for your power button. Um, on the other side you have the same uh, type of uh, pliable buttons for your up and down for audio and then your convenience key uh, is available here and uh, they're they uh, they work really well it's it's easy to access those buttons absolutely no trouble it doesn't take an awful lot of force to use it so I really like that <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and here is the uh, the outer shell it's a lot uh, more stiff it, it this will take a pounding I must say <clears throat> as much as the uh, rubber piece will, will uh, take a lot of impact, this um, outer shell will uh, protect your device quite a bit. So the way, uh, the way you put this uh, together is you take your phone, hello phone, and you can just slip that into the top there, and then you can just push the phone in goes in nice and easy almost too easy but the thing is um, everything gets a little bit more rigid when you add the uh, the outer piece to it so just have to line that up same deal press in all the sides and you're good to go so um, it's a it's a simple I I'd almost call it elegant I mean it's not leather uh, it doesn't have that plush leather thing going for it, but um, the thing I really like about this case is uh, the fact that, um, you know, there's a ridge here. I'm not, sh not too sure if you can see that, so when you have your phone laying face down, the screen is not um, in contact with the, with the uh, surface. Unlike if you did that with your case here, um, open faced if you put your phone down like this it's going to be on that surface and possibly subject to some scratching or whatever of course 99% of the population is going to close it before they do that um, I've, uh, you know the I, I think that the impact resistance of this probably outweighs the impact resistance of this style of case and the and the uh, the other thing about uh, this guy is I have read horror stories and I've had the I've had the movie run in my head of this case um, you know you put this on the dash of your car or whatever because that's how cavalier you are and uh, you know you make a quick stop or something happens or you accelerate quickly and it comes off the dash and as it falls you know the case opens up and it lands face down onto the glass onto the screen and you may or may not have a problem uh, this guy um, may or may not have a problem like that like I say it has the ridges so it, the glass doesn't come in contact with um, with the surface as long as it's flat <laughs> because if you dropped it and there was a rock there or something like that well there you go you're gonna get contact with the screen um, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, again, I do like this uh, case. Um, the good points are the audio ports are open on the back. Um, easy access to uh, the keys. Um, nice and soft, very pliable. Um, and this has got great grip to it because anybody that's had their hands on a DTEC 60 knows how slippery this thing is. You can lay the naked DTEC 60 on your knee or something and it would slide off no problem. Uh, but with this, it's a lot more grippy. 
um, you know, I, I do like the these kind of cases. Been like I say, been using them for years. I love the magnetic aspect of it. Uh, so I do miss I do miss that uh, for this on the DTEC 60. But um, overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. I have, I haven't really dropped it um, from any real height uh, at all. Um, I think it came off the couch once and and hit the floor. But there's absolutely zero issue or damage or even a scuff on the case or whatever. I am not going to test the 12 foot drop claim. <laughs> Don't feel like it. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, in any case, um, yeah, I didn't mean to slip that one in there again, but it just slipped out, didn't it? Uh, I guess that's about it for, um, for this video. Again, uh, this is the Incipio uh, Dual Pro case for the DTEC 60 and if you're in need of a, a good case that uh, is unobtrusive, works well, slides in and out of your pocket nicely um, and protects your phone uh, very well, then I think uh, this just might do it for you. Dave from utbblogs.com out.